All right, YouTube, more fun with the RP-1000. Uh, that I'm going to show you a little bit of comparing uh, real effects to the built-in effects of the RP-1000 and at the same time show you how to use the effects loop for an effect uh, before your distortion. This is not the amplifier effects loop. This is the effects effects loop. So uh, I will motion with my foot here. So we got this uh, 68 Plexi uh, preset that I'm using here. You can see these cables. They're going out into a vintage, uh, this is a 1970s MXR Dynacomp. It's a, a real classic compressor sound. So what I'm going to do is play through the real Dynacomp here, and then I'm going to flip back and forth with the simulated RP-1000 so you can kind of hear the difference in, in sound. Uh, so here we go. This is uh, playing the guitar without the fake Dynacomp from the RP-1000. This is just straight the, the Marshall Plexi, and uh, I'm not using the real MXR Dynacomp either. So uh, I'm just going to hit a couple of bar chords so you, you hear it. This is a humbucker in the bridge position. Okay, so you kind of hear how that sounds. So let's see. Uh, let's move this around. All right, so you can see the little foot switch that I'm going to tap on to uh, bring this guy in. So you can see the red light's already on. The Dynacomp's already on. So, uh, again, I'm playing uh, this is an A bar chord. Now I'm going to click in, and it's going to go through the, uh, the real MXR Dynacomp. All right, so you heard a little hiss there when I brought it in. So here you go. So you can hear the Dynacomp. It, it's kind of grabbing it, and uh, it let, has a slow release on it. Here, letting go. All right, so now I'm uh, doing my uh, coil split here. So now I've got a single coil on my bridge pickup instead of the humbucker. So you can hear the Dynacomp grabbing that thing. All right, humbucker again. So you can definitely hear the uh, MXR compression sound. Real, real distinct. It kind of kind of grabs it, then has a slow release, and it really thickens it up. That's kind of the sound of this pedal. You hear it kind of letting go now. Okay, I'm taking it out of the loop. So you see the little red light that went out. There's a little red light that cuts on. There's a little uh, area right here, and that, that little red light will cut on and off when you bring that uh, loop in and out. Okay, so now I'm going to switch. Uh, I've got the pedal board mode on for the, the RP-1000, so you can see the, the presets are down here. Then up here you actually can toggle effects on and off. So I've got a uh, MXR compressor set up in the RP-1000. This is the, the simulated one. This is not the real deal, so I'm going to kick it in. And I'll play the same kind of thing seen here. Here, out, in, out, in. Okay, now I'm, I'm clicking over to the uh, single coil. I'm taking out one uh, coil here in the humbucker. <laughs> So it's almost more pronounced than the uh, the real deal, the way that I have it set. And that might be, I, I tried to do the knobs the same. If you can kind of see on the MXR here, I, I, let me reach down to show you. So 
So the EMAXR is pretty much set, uh, I guess you call that 3 o'clock and 3 o'clock for the output in the sensitivity. Uh, let's get it back up to the camera there. Okay, so that's kind of the same settings that I tried to do in the RP1000 X edit, the you know the graphical thing that you hook up to your PC or your Mac and you can edit your presets. So I try to do the same thing. I don't think they translate exactly the same because the uh, the sound I get from the fake uh, MXR that's built into the RP1000 is a little bit more severe compression than what I get with the real deal, but uh, it's pretty close. So let's play a little more with that compressor. And again, this is the RP1000 one. Again, that's the bridge uh, single coil. I'm going to the next single coil. You hear it grabbing, letting go. Let's go back to the real deal here so you hear what the sound like is with that guy. So I'm cutting the compressor off. So that's off now in the RP-1000. So now I'm going to kick in the stomp loop. See, the stomp loop is on. You see that little red light came on. So now i got that uh, the real deal MXR compressor is on. still the neck uh, single coil. So you definitely hear it. Let me cut it off at the compressor. So now the uh, MXR is off. So it's a little bit, uh, you definitely don't hear it on the, the notes decaying. Let's cut it back in again. Clicking on the bridge, again, humbucker mode. Taking it out. Putting it back in. And kind of boosting it out there. All right, so let's do the same thing again with the uh, RP-1000 version of this. I'm kicking the compressor in. Taking it out, putting it back in. So it's pretty close. Uh, if I had to uh, put it down on paper, I guess the way I'd describe the difference between the, the real MXR and the RP-1000 fake version is uh, the, the EQ, or the high end, is a little bit more, uh, mm, there's, there's less coloration on the high end if you use the RP-1000 version. If you use the, the old school, uh, you know, you get, get yourself one of these on eBay for, uh, I don't know how much they go for now. I got this thing, uh, it's a... Uh, you know, a late late 70s model of these guys, I believe. <laughs> Had it forever. So uh, it has more coloration, meaning it, it kind of dulls a little bit of the high end. Uh, you can get pretty close on the the uh, how the compressor reacts between the two. So it, it's pretty close. And uh, if you're using the RP-1000, you're, you're okay. We're pretty close already because the RP-1000 is pretty close to almost everything I've, I've tried to do with it. Uh, it's just not the same thing. So... You know, hey, that's the difference. But uh, that gives you a little impression of uh, what it sounds like with the real deal versus the RP-1000, as well as how to use that stomp loop so you can click things in and out of your RP-1000. Although i, I got to tell you, when I'm out playing that so close to me, I'm, I'm probably not bringing any other effects. I, I'm still absolutely pleased with my RP-1000. Had it for a year, uh, use it gigs all the time. So uh, I'm very, very happy with uh, what I get from the RP-1000. Is it the same as the real deal? If I brought a uh, Marshall Plexi and I had a real uh, MXR Dynacon from the 70s, yeah, that'd probably sound better. But uh, that's a lot of money, and that's a lot of stuff to haul around. So 
Still happy with the RP-1000. Hope hope that's a convincing case for you. If you're thinking about the RP-1000 or you're thinking about, uh, you know, what what's this thing sound like versus the real thing. So hopefully you get that out of this. All right.